sweet, beautiful Lena. Such a terrible life she's had. Rescued from unimaginable conditions. The most horrific hoarding situation that we had ever seen. Actually, it just popped up in my memories last week. It was five years ago last week that we saved Lena. She sits in this room, staring out the windows. Shh, get down. Sad, wondering where her owner went. Stop it, get down. And then, as you can see, when I go in, she gets so excited. playing with her toys. <laughs> Somebody was playing with her stuff. Hi, pretty girl. Hey, pretty girl. Hi, mama. This poor girl lived such a horrific, unimaginable life in a hoarding situation, locked in a cage, never taken out of that cage. We saved her. She was bounced around a couple of times before she found what we thought was gonna be her forever person and her forever home. And then sadly, Steve was diagnosed with cancer and she lost him and found herself back here. She is a loving, loving, affectionate girl. Hi. Who just wants her person. She's a typical shepherd in that aspect where they bond very strongly to their person. And that's all she wants. She sits in this room. Like I said, she stares out the windows and looks at the doors and just seems so sad until you come in and then she gets happy because one of her people is here because this is what she craves right honey yeah i see you made a mess of your bed were you playing with all your toys were you playing with all your stuffy toys over here and you made a mess of the bed <laughs> What are you doing? She loves her stuffy toys. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, beautiful girl. She is about seven or eight years of age now. Somewhere around there. It's an estimate, of course, because she was an adult when we saved her. She should go to a quiet home. Not a lot of commotion, not a lot of company in and out. You know, parties and gatherings and get togethers and such. Because she truly is, she's, she's like a one or two person dog. She just wants her person. She's great on a leash. She loves going for walks. She loves car rides. Hi, beautiful. Hi, beautiful. Hi, mama. 
Hey, beautiful girl. Hey, beautiful girl. No children. A one-story home. Stairs would not be good for Lena. You know, she is a shepherd. Panda shepherd. Hi. Hello. Hello, beautiful. Hello, beautiful. Hello, hello, hello. I know. Hi, mommy. Hi. Bye. <laughs> Hi, mama. Hello, beautiful girl. Hi, sweetheart. Hi, sweetheart. <laughs> Our heart breaks for this girl every day. She was so happy with Steve. They did everything together. He used to take her to St. Augustine. She's been on a boat. And we thought she had finally found her home and her person. It was just the two of them and it was perfect. And sadly, like I said, she lost Steve. We all lost Steve. Very heartbreaking. He was such a wonderful man. And now she finds herself back here with us and she gets she gets a lot of love and she gets a lot of affection from us, but it's not the same. It's not the same as being in a home. What are you doing? What you got there? <laughs> you got your stuffy? <laughs> She is completely potty trained, completely. She's never ever had an accident in this room. <laughs> You're so silly. You're so silly. You're so silly. You're so silly girl. That's a silly girl. She is not destructive as you can see. She's got beds and blankets and a couch and everything in here. She's never shredded anything. She doesn't even shred her stuffies. She's low maintenance. Like I said, she just wants her person. She just wants somebody to love. Right, Mama? Right, Mama, that's my girl. That's my girl. I know. That's my sweet girl. That's my sweet girl. Always looking out the windows. What? You gonna come up? You gonna come up? Where are all our shepherd lovers out there? <laughs> give me that stuffy. You give me that stuffy. Give me that stuffy. My stuffy. <laughs> Hi, pretty girl.
Um, she has been in doggy daycare um, in the past and she has done well. I don't know how she would be in a home environment uh, with another dog or a cat for that matter. She doesn't seem to chase cats that she sees when we, when we go on walks. She doesn't chase lizards or squirrels or anything like that. But in a home environment, I just don't know. I think she would be, she would be best as being the queen of the castle with her person. Right? Or her people. Because like I said, she bonds like a shepherd does with her person. <laughs> hey, sweet girl. Hey, sweet girl. Look at all your stuffies. Look at all your stuffies, Lena. Which one are you going to play with now? Which one? Which one are you going to get? Which one? <laughs> Hi, beautiful. Hi, beautiful. go. Bring it here. Bring it here. Nope. Nope. All your stuffies. They're all yours. She loves her stuffies. She's about seven or eight years of age. Somewhere around there. It's a guesstimate from the vet. She was an adult when we saved her five years ago. She is vaccinated. She is microchipped. She is spayed. What are you doing? Mommy, what are you doing? <laughs> um, John, we rescued her five years ago. She uh, went into a home. Um, that's how we we knew that um, she would be best without children. And then she went into a foster home. And then from there she went to her last home, which she was in for three years, which we believe we thought was her forever home with a gentleman named Steve. It was just her and him. It was absolutely perfect. They adored each other. Um, but sadly, Steve was diagnosed with cancer and we lost him a few months ago. So that is why she is back here with us. We thought she had her forever home, but sadly, as I said, Steve passed away a few months ago and she found herself uprooted again and moved around again and brought back here. So we do everything we can to make her as happy and loved as we can. You know, she's got her bed and her toys and the TV and bed over there and a bed over there and the couch that I'm sitting on and unlimited food and water and the yard but it's just not the same 
it's just not the same as having her person and having her home. You chewing on your bone now? We were all very heartbroken when we found out the news about Steve and then when it happened so quickly, it was devastating for everybody, including Lena. You got your Benny bone now. She is chewing on a Benny bone. She's got Benny bones in here. She's got one there. She's got her antler over there on the bed. The dogs love them, love them and the antlers they go crazy over them the antlers are safer than the benny bones because the antlers they can chew and chew and chew until they just get too small then we have to take them away but if they ingest the antlers it's fine because it's cartilage um and it doesn't break off in like big pieces it kind of disintegrates benny bones we have to be careful about when they start getting too chewed and little pieces start coming off then we have to take them away and throw them out Like that. Did you get a piece off of that? Want this one? <gasps> Want this? Hi, pretty girl. Hey, pretty girl. <laughs> no, no home yet. That's why I'm doing this video in the hopes that somebody will see it and fall in love with her and want to come and meet her. She just wants her person. This is her room at the rescue house. So guys, if you are interested, please send us an email, 100plusabandonedogs at gmail.com. Please include as much information as possible in your email. Again, she would do best in a quiet home, one story, fenced in yard. No children, no children whatsoever, please. She's vaccinated, spayed, microchipped. She is fully potty trained. She is non-destructive. She loves going for walks. She loves going for car rides. So again, if you are interested, please, please reach out and email us at 100plusabandoneddogs at gmail.com with all of your information or give us a call at 877-506-8100. No children, Eileen. No children. <clears throat> she does not like kids. <clears throat> Hi, beautiful. Right? You don't get them. You don't understand them. They freak you out. You don't like them. Which is just the way it is with some dogs. Some dogs are great with children, some dogs are not.
So again, guys, please, please hit the share button. And again, the email address is 100plusabandonedogs at gmail.com or 877-506-8100. And please hit the share button. one more time. There we go. There's a beautiful girl. There's the beautiful girl. Say hit the share button. Alyssa, yes, you can either send an email to 100 plus abandoned dogs at gmail.com or give us a call at 877-506-8100. Again, it is 100 plus abandoned dogs at gmail.com or 877 506 8100. The contact info also should be on this post. Once I shut down, you can go back in and uh, look at the information on the post. It has our uh, email and our phone number. So again, this is Tiffany from Rescue House One with Lena, 100 plus abandoned dogs of Everglades, Florida. Thank you all for watching. Hit that share button and hope to hear from you, Alyssa, 100 plus abandoned dogs of Everglades, Florida.